55 times capped Cameroon international Jean-Jacques Missy Missy made his United debut in this game. He was signed from Trabzon Spor on Friday. He played at Tanadais earlier this season when the Turkish side knocked Dundee United out of the UEFA Cup. Well, Kamarnak, who have recently risen above Tommy McLean's side, were poor in the first half. Jerome Varai's effort, a rare attack. United dominated, in fact, and they made good of their possession with a goal in the 15th minute. Marcus Skoldmark on the right, crossing for Robbie Winters. Lekovic got a touch, but he couldn't keep it out. That's Winters' first goal in the Premier Division since October. Jean-Jacques Missy-Missy, who hopes to be turning out for Cameroon at France 98, had a chance to get on the score sheet. But Yugoslavian World Cup man Dragoje Lekovic was in international form. It's a case of World Cups revisited now. Remember Diego Maradona's Hand of God from Mexico 86? Well, Peter Shilton certainly does. And so too, by the looks of it, does Jerome Verai, the Killy striker perhaps lucky not to be booked by referee Tom Brown for that handball incident there. In the second half, Killy took a grip of the game. Ali Mitchell's shot almost turned in here by Kevin McGowan. Bobby Williamson's men could have been given a penalty when Mark Riley was brought down there by Craig Easton. Surprisingly, the referee didn't fancy it. Tom Brown was just a couple of metres away, but surely Easton was late with the tackle there. A quick free kick taken by Mark Riley led to the creation of Killy's goal, which he was to finish. Some typical Pat Nevin twisting and turning here, assisting Riley in the setup, and he hammers home. Great finish by Riley. So good that Dylan Kerr fancy taking him home. Dundee United won, Killy won with 69 minutes played. Mark Riley with plenty of power in the shot. That combined with a deflection of Paul Wright beat Dykstra. Whoever scored the goal means that it's seven games unbeaten for Bobby Williamson's players. There's a bit of debate going on at this moment in time. Mark had a, str a strike and um, Paul says he deflected in off his backside. So. We'll see where the camera shows us, and uh, if that's the case, I'm sure Paul's going to claim the goal. Uh, it's the goal tally he's looking, and it's one closer to the ton for him, so I'd be delighted if he's got it. But Mark Ray always had the shot, and I'm pleased for Mark as well.